Today's medical centric topic is Understanding Gastrointestinal Fistula Causes, Symptoms, and Diagnosis. A gastrointestinal GI fistula is an abnormal connection between different parts of the digestive system or between the digestive system and other organs. Understanding its causes, symptoms, and diagnosis is crucial for managing this condition effectively. Causes of Gastrointestinal Fistula Several factors can lead to the development of a GI fistula. Key causes include 1. Surgery Postoperative complications are the most common cause, especially after abdominal surgery. 2. Inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. Conditions like Crohn's disease can lead to fistula formation. 3. Infections. Severe infections can damage the GI tract, creating abnormal connections. 4. Trauma. Physical injury to the abdomen can result in fistulas. 5. Cancer. Tumors in the digestive system can erode into adjacent tissues, forming fistulas. 6. Radiation therapy. Radiation can damage the GI tract and lead to fistulas. Symptoms of gastrointestinal fistula. Symptoms vary depending on the fistula's location and severity. Common symptoms include 1. Abdominal pain. Persistent or recurrent pain in the abdomen. 2. Diarrhea. Frequent watery stools, especially in intercutaneous fistulas. 3. Fever. Indicative of infection or inflammation. 4. Fluid leakage. Abnormal discharge from an opening in the skin, if the fistula connects to the skin. 5. Malnutrition. Difficulty absorbing nutrients, leading to weight loss and malnutrition. 6. Dehydration. Loss of fluids through the fistula can cause dehydration. Risks associated with gastrointestinal fistula. Several factors increase the risk of developing a GI fistula, including 1. Recent surgery, particularly abdominal surgeries with complications. 2. Chronic diseases. Conditions like Crohn's disease or diverticulitis. 3. Infection and sepsis. Severe infections can compromise the integrity of the GI tract. 4. Radiation exposure. Previous radiation therapy to the abdominal area. 5. Malnutrition. Poor nutritional status can impede healing and increase risk. Diagnosis. Diagnosis involves a combination of clinical evaluations and tests, medical history and physical examination, assessing symptoms and medical history, imaging studies, CT scans, MRI, or X-rays to visualize the fistula and its connections. Fistulogram, a special X-ray using contrast dye to map the fistula's pathway. Endoscopy. Using a scope to directly view the inside of the GI tract and locate the fistula. Laboratory tests. Blood tests to check for infection, inflammation, and nutritional deficiencies. Treatment options. 1. Nutritional support. Ensuring adequate nutrition, often through intravenous feeding, TPN, or special diets. 2. Medications. Antibiotics to treat infections and medications to reduce inflammation. 3. Drainage. Draining abscesses or collections of fluid that may be associated with the fistula. 4. Surgical intervention. Surgery to repair the fistula if conservative treatments are ineffective. 5. Wound care. Proper care of any external openings to prevent infection and promote healing. Management and prevention. Monitoring and follow-up. Regular checkups to monitor the condition and adjust treatments as needed. Infection control. Preventing and managing infections promptly to avoid complications. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.